hey guys welcome back to the video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can open or close the door when you are near to a lever and when you'll press the key the lever handle will go down and door will open up and if you'll get away from the lever you will be no longer able to open or close the door and after you come back the key ui will be visible and you will be able to open or close the door again and if you want this lever model the link is in the description so you can download it from there so to do this, first let's create a blueprint class of actor type. I'm going to name this door BP and let's open this up. For the tutorial purpose, I'm going to use cube as a door. So let's name this door and you can scale this according to your level. After scaling, let's compile this and place this into the level. After placing the door inside your level, you can create another blueprint class of actor type. I am going to name this lever BP. Now click on the add component button and search for the static mesh. Let's add one more. Okay, after that we can assign the mesh to the mesh components. Uh, just uh, select your mesh in the mesh component and use this small arrow to assign the mesh. And now let's make lever handle the child of the lever box and name them respectively. So after that let's add a box collision component and then we can scale this according to our level. So we are going to use this box collision to check if our player is near this lever so that we can show the widget to it. Okay now let's change the location a bit. After that, let's compile and uh, place this into the level. So we want to show the widget whenever our player will pass through this collision box. So for that, I had already created this user widget where we have this button. So let's go to the lever blueprint and let's delete these unnecessary events. Now let's search for event begin play and now here we can search for create widget and now let's uh, create the F button UI yeah this here and let's promote this to variable I'm going to name this button widget reference after that let's add it to the viewport okay so after that let's go to the viewport and we want to add a event begin overlap for the box and after that let's grab the reference of the widget and search for set visibility so we want to set the visibility to visible uh, whenever we will overlap through this uh, trigger box okay now let's add a on component and overlap and now let's copy the set visibility node and connect the execution pin and the parameters and we want to set the ui to be hidden whenever the our player will leave the trigger box okay so after that let's compile and let's play but we already have this ui on the screen we only want it when our player will overlap through this trigger box. So to fix this, let's go to our UI. Then click on class default and in the visibility section, you have to choose hidden. So it will be hidden by default. So let's compile and test this again. Now, as you can see, we don't have any UI on the screen by default. It only appears when we overlap through this trigger box. So now we want to open this door. So to do this, let's go to our project settings under the edit tab. Now let's go to the input section and let's add a action mapping. I'm going to name this open door. And now let's select the F key. Here it is. So you can select any of the key you wanted. Okay, so uh, now let's go to our character blueprint. Okay, so here uh, we want to call this action mapping open door in our event graph of the character blueprint. So let's call this open door. So when we will press it, uh, we want to get actor of class. Let's connect the execution pin. So we want to get our lever blueprint. So let's get it. And after that, we want to call any custom event or a function so that we can open that door. So for that, let's go to our lever blueprint and here uh, we want to create a custom event. So let's create it and I'm going to name this open door. 
ओके नाउ वट यू वॉन्ट टू डू इज वी वॉन्ट अ ब्रांच एंड वी वॉन्ट टू चेक अ कंडीशन द कंडीशन इज फॉर दैट लेट्स गेट अवर विजिट रेफरेंस हेयर वी आर गेटिंग अवर बटन यू आई विजिट रेफरेंस सो लेट्स चेक इफ इट इज विजिबल सो लेट्स सर्च फॉर इज विजिबल नोड एंड लेट्स कनेक्ट द कंडीशन बिफोर दैट लेट्स गो टू अवर डोर ब्लू प्रिंट सो वट यू वॉन्ट टू डू वी वॉन्ट टू मूव इट इन द अप एंड डाउन डायरेक्शन सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट वी नीड द रेफरेंस टू द डोर ब्लू प्रिंट सो लेट्स सर्च फॉर गेट एक्टर ऑफ क्लास एंड लेट्स लेट्स सर्च फॉर डोर ब्लू प्रिंट एंड नाउ लेट्स प्रमोट दिस टू वेरिएबल्स सो दैट वी कैन यूज इट डाउन बिलो ओके सो नाउ लेट्स ग्रैप द रेफरेंस now from here we can get the door yeah here so let's get the door after that we can set its uh, relative location yeah there you go now let's connect the execution pin and we want to change the location of the door in z axis so let me show you uh if i'll move it up and down you can see the z axis is also changing that means we need to change it in the z axis so let's go to our lever blueprint here let's change it to uh, 410 so now uh, what we want to do we want to let's compile first yeah so uh, we want to call this custom event in our third person blueprint so let's go there so as we click the f key from this reference we can actually call that open door custom event so when we will press the f key we are calling this event and this event is uh, actually checking the condition if it is visible it will return true and uh, change the location so now let's test this okay so as you can see the location has been changed of our door but now we need to smoothly change the location so for that what we need to do we need to add a timeline so let's make space and let's search for timeline there you go okay double click on it and let's add a float and after that let's uh, let me name this to float value and now let's add two float keys for the first float key i'm going to give it zero time and a uh, zero value and for the second float key i'm going to give it one time and one value after that let's uh, change the length to one and let's uh, compile and go to the event graph after that let's uh, connect the true pin to the play from start of the timeline and after that uh, let's search for the lerp and connect the float value to the elf of the lerp now right click on the node and click on split struct pin now grab the return value and connect it to the location of z now let's change b to 410 now what this will do this will uh, transition from 0 to 410 location using this uh, timeline okay so now let's uh, let's actually compile and see if this works okay uh, let's press f as you can see the door location is changing smoothly so uh, now what we have to do we also have to close the door when we'll press the same key so to do this uh, let's make some space and search for flip flop function okay let's uh, connect the execution pin and from a let's connect to play from start of the timeline and for the b uh, let's connect it to the reverse from the end of the timeline this will just reverse the transition so let's compile and uh, test this Okay so let's press F and F again you can see it's working but here is the issue if we'll spam the button uh, the transition will look weird so let's fix this so let's make some space and here i'm going to use do once node let's connect the execution pins so this node will not let us execute the further code until its value is reset when the timeline gets finished its value will get reset so let's compile and test so here i am spamming the button but we are having no problem here so we are good to go but we also have to move the lever handle so to do this let's 
go back to our blueprint and let's go to the uh, viewport here you can see uh, we have to rotate the lever handle in the y axis so let's go to our event graph again and here let's grab the lever handle and let's search for set relative rotation let's connect the execution pin and I'm going to change the Y value to minus 100 now let's test this you can see it worked but we need smooth transition so for that let's go back to our blueprint and uh, here let's add one more lerp node there you go and connect the alpha value to the timeline float now right click here and select split struct pin so we can access these in the floats and let's change the b value of the lerp to minus 100 and from the return value connect it to its uh, y axis now let's test this finally as you can see we are having a smooth transition between the door and the lever handle both but now we want to change the size of this f key ui so for that let's go to our ui and uh, here we want to change this button size somehow like this so for that let's uh, go to our graph and here let's right click and make a custom event i'm going to name this change size and let's grab our uh, button here this button and let's get it in the graph and let's search for set render scale there you go and let's connect the execution pin the default value of the size of the button is 1 but we want to change it to uh, something smaller so let's duplicate and uh, set it to 0.8 I think it will be enough okay now let's uh, connect the parameter and the execution pins now we need a delay between these so let's add the delay node let's connect the execution pins and we are going to give the delay of 0.2 seconds okay so now we need to call this custom event in our lever blueprint so let's make some space and just after the do once node we want to call that custom event so we have the reference here so let's search for that event change size and let's connect the execution pins and i think finally we are good to go so let's compile and test it let's go near to the lever and as you can see now if we we'll press the f key we can change the size of the button as we'll go away from the lever the ui has disappeared and as we get near the ui appears again and lever and door are also working fine so that's all what we wanted i hope you like this video and if you do then do not forget to like and subscribe to this youtube channel and i have also started a game dev series on the game i'm currently working on so if you are interested in watching development of my game so the link is in the description and all my social media handle and game links are also down below so you can follow me or play my games till then see you bye bye